Well, tonight, Hamblin County Schools has a new leader. The new superintendent will oversee 18 schools and more than 10,000 students. The district is also in the top 20 largest school districts in the state. But some parents have concerns over the candidate chosen. Despite being an experienced general with experience in the Air Force, General Arnold Monch has no experience teaching children. And tonight, the Board of Education used an emergency policy to vote him into his new position. Reporter Jacinta Render was at the meeting where the school board made their vote and has more on the school board's response. Um, the decision was made and that rests on the board's shoulders. They decided to vote the way they voted. For many years, the policy in Hamlin County required the school superintendent to have a background in education. But tonight, that all changed. Board Chair Carolyn Clawson says that move allowed General Arnold W. Bunch Jr. to win the job of superintendent even though his veteran resume has no degree tied to education. We legally took the direction that we did this evening to be able to uh, make him a qualified candidate and so that's how that came about. Usually a change like this requires two readings but the board took emergency action. They should have changed the qualifications before they started the research process. The board voted six to one on the policy change and the vote broke down the same way in favor of General Bunch. We heard from parents and others expressing both concern and support for the new school leader. I hope that um, our next director of schools does a wonderful job and that he can jump in there and learn to make up any deficiencies that he might be coming in with. Kids need structure, adults need structure, I need structure. It's not often you find a non-traditional person that can fit the bill. The general didn't attend the meeting, and despite our ongoing requests, we have yet to hear back from him. In Hamlin County, I'm Jacinta Render. And General Bunch Jr. will officially become superintendent this summer.